Now at first glance, this probably looks to you just like the multidimensional array initialization that we just did in the in the previous video, but this is not. This is an initialization of a pointer array. Notice that uh, with our static character pointer here, we have a name array, but there's only one dimension to it. This is not really a multidimensional array. This is an array of pointers. The pointers will be created off of these static items here. We said that these are static characters, so they are allowed to be put into storage in some place where they will not be changed and that we don't have to worry about them again. This thing will be set up at compile time and it will be uh, nicely usable, but it will save us storage and execution time because of the way we've built it. Now this little function, and you can find this in K and R under the same topic here, initialization of pointer arrays, this little function will return a character pointer, char star, right there, month name, so that's telling us that month name returns a character pointer when it returns something, and it will take in an integer n, and that's the number of the month is what we have to pass in here. So here's our static character, our name array, single dimension, is then initialized by these values. This will be value zero illegal month, then value 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on, out to value 12 for December. Makes sense, huh? Now here's our return. Our return is going to use our little decision uh, character that we uh, looked at, our comparison and return uh, operator that we looked at a long time ago. We're going to do a quick check here and find out if n is less than 1 or n is greater than 12, that's an invalid month. And if that happens to be true, we will return this first value, which is name sub zero. And name sub zero is the pointer. Remember, this is a, a 13 element array because we have 13 elements here from a legal month through December. It will return the pointer stored in name sub zero. Month name is supposed to return a character pointer. So that's exactly what we have to send back and what we can send back by this. If this is not true, that means that n is in fact one between 1 and 12 inclusive. So we will return name sub n, which will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on down through 12. And this function works the way we expect it to. But I want you to see how you initialize a pointer array and even though it appears to be a two-dimensional array, it is in fact only a single-dimensional array of pointers.